What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Osiris New Dawn. And today we have an update, um, a pretty exciting update. I think it's pretty exciting. We have a new HUD, a new graphical interface, new... Uh, the user interface has been updated, as you can see, like, from my screen already. It looks so much cleaner, so much clearer. Oh my gosh, I'm liking it. So, uh, we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be doing a few things, and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you're interested in Osiris New Dawn, link down below, as well as the playlist for Osiris New Dawn. So, um, first thing you're going to notice, probably is my mini map up in the corner you see my mini map up in the uh up the top right there we now have vehicles popped up on there you can see that we've got our structures on there and i believe this also coincides with hold on if i pull up this whatever we have selected here so if i select uh low density uh hold on let me get something okay so something in the area of us right you can see medium density we have iron in the area but now if i go back on the mini map you can see those nodes still on the mini map that is super awesome i'm really liking that uh and then same thing with basically anything anything that you're like you know you have on on here will reflect on your mini map so that is super cool i like that and that's gonna be super handy when it comes to when it comes to like finding things you know it's like oh i need to head over here and then instead of having to stop to pull out the map all the time you should start seeing it creep in on your mini map now the mini map also works in your vehicle so anytime you're in the vehicle you can still see your mini map you don't have to worry about you know uh pulling up your map all the time to kind of see where you're going so that's super nice and we also have a bigger field of view when it comes to driving so we're not like we're not as uh close let's see i had to do it like the first time i just hopped in here we're not as close we're not as, as tucked in to the vehicle so that way we can actually see our surroundings we can look around we can see oh look at there's a death worm coming over there or something like that uh that's super exciting uh you'll notice my tools they just kind of fade away unless we uh, unless we pull them out and need something uh that is super cool and i think we also have yes so i believe before hold on let me go make sure over here uh, because i know i had this issue with basically all of these if we had the repair tool if we had this tool out you couldn't actually access anything it would say uh like repair instead of use but now that works so that's cool i like that uh you might be wondering where all my stats are on the uh, on the bottom left well they're there except they're only there when we need them so if i pull up uh inventory here um oh those are back too you can see everything looks good so nothing's gonna just show up there right now unless there's an issue with something going on also you can now hover over and see okay hunger and thirst hydration 71 percent nutrition 62 percent uh drink water eat food maintain that's fantastic we have temperature um our suit temperature keep your suit patched up to internal temperature regulated so we can see like you know we can actually see some details there that is super cool as well um, I like that. Everything is centered now. Uh, so if we go to crafting, look at that. Everything is centered. Everything is not like shifted off to one side anymore. Nice and centered all right here. Uh, now we can also see, oh, the laboratory. I need to build the barracks before I unlock the laboratory. Or if I want to build a uh, the electric fence, I need the laboratory. If or I want the anti-personnel turret, I need the barracks for that. The shield, the electrodome laboratory barracks laboratory that is it's super nice so that way you know what you need uh in order to unlock the thing so chemistry table the barracks biodome barracks so basically if we build the barracks in the biodome we're going to start unlocking a lot of stuff here um tech windowed oh so there's even some tech stuff that's that's locked behind uh building stuff okay so that's pretty cool okay so now on to some other things uh something actually like super exciting and this this might actually be this might actually be my favorite thing here so if we go into our our storages any of our storages here um we're gonna have a couple new buttons fill like fill any so example here let's go ahead and pull these and then let's just pull like some random stuff back out of here so if i have so let's just do default sword on here um let's do default sword if i have any items that are these items i can hit fill like and it will automatically pull like items over here. So now, if you wanted a storage chest of everything, so like you wanted iron or whatever, you just hit fill like. Uh, you want to hit this, hit fill like. You don't have to actually go through and manually select each individual thing. Um, it'll just automatically pull whatever materials are already in here into this container. That is like 
Oh my gosh, that is so nice. That is like, that is, it's super, <laughs> it's super nice. Especially for organization and being able to see like what you have. So if we wanted just one material in each chest, uh, instead of having to go through each storage thing and trying to find it and be like, oh, where's it at? I know it's in here somewhere. All we have to do is essentially put the one in here and then fill like and boop, it'll automatically do all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty awesome. That's pretty exciting. So I'm definitely super excited about that. We've got all kinds of wonderful new UI things. Um, I'm liking what we've got. I'm liking what we got. I'm 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 super uh, super stoked to see all the um, updates still coming through, doing the things. Um, and then here we go. Our physical stats are back. Now I talked about this in a couple episodes ago. I was wondering where these were, and I was informed that they were removed. I was like, oh, okay, cool, whatever, that's fine. Uh, but they're back, and now we have 30 stat points to to use. So. From what I remember, I don't I don't know if there is a way to see my overall stats anymore. But from what I remember, um, basically increasing your strength a lot would make it so you could mine a lot faster. So I know that was a huge thing. And then um, I also know speed was also like pretty important and stamina was pretty important as well. Um, so now I'm actually kind of curious. Let's go try this out. So let's grab our chisel here and let's do this. So before, oh, I should have tested this beforehand. Darn, I don't know if it's actually making any difference or not. Uh, you know what, let's just pop over here. And let's just pop down into here. See, I don't know if this is making any difference or not or if it's completely tool based now. Cause I remember before it was basically you bumped up all your strength and you were like one hitting everything. It was great. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me, like, you know what? Let's go try it on. Um, let me go try it on a tree because our trees used to be, uh, we had, we needed a few hits for our trees. Also the speed boost is actually quite nice too. So I think this is faster. I'm pretty sure before we had to have three hits and now we're only having to have two. I think, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And then let's see, what else do we get? Oh, droids, drones and droids and things like that. Um, if we go into, I gotta figure out actually where this is at here. If I go into my inventory, no crafting missions resources drones okay i can actually have this drone teleport to the player so that way if he's is like so say i leave him here for something and i'm like oh man i could actually use that drone for you know x reason or whatever then i could say okay cool come here drone let's go and then if you know i'm worried about him you know just despawning or something like that i can actually just teleport him back to me which is super cool so basically it's like an inventory that could basically spawn at you at any point so that's super cool i like that um all kinds of wonderful updates i'm really liking this stuff but since we're here since we're already playing since we got things going um i do want to go ahead i want to try to build the barracks and the biodome i think that would be super nice to build we also need to get an airlock on this bad boy uh let's see here if we go into this we go into build and craft if I wanted to get our barracks biodome, we need the barracks before we can get the laboratory. And the laboratory is, allow, is gonna allow us to build a spacecraft, which is gonna then allow us to go to space and go to the other planets. So let's see here. We need a barracks. We need, oh my gosh. Um, I think there's a way to pin this. Okay, so barracks right there. I think that might be new as well. Steel, plastic, cobalt, titanium, talonite, lead, gunmetal, wire. Oh my gosh, all kinds of things. Holy moly. Um, and then, do I need cast iron for any of that stuff? No, I don't. Okay, so, and then we're also gonna, oh. We're also gonna have to put on a, uh, a coupler with this as well. Hold on, let's actually hop in here. Let's move this guy try and decide the 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 biodome is significantly larger than the barracks so i'm thinking the biodome is probably gonna need to go right here and then maybe we can squeeze the barracks like out this side right here that might work that might work and then if i wanted to say if i destroy this wall let's go ahead and destroy this wall do you want to destroy this habitat panel yes i want a coupler we need 
Oh, Zamak? Wait, how do we get Zamak? Because isn't Zamak Zirconium? And we haven't gotten any Zirconium yet. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where is the Zamak? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's the Zinc Magnesium Alloy and uh, Aluminum Copper. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, I guess the only thing for us to do is go ahead and get this thing rock and rolling. So, what did we need for... I guess we need to go ahead and get the coupler. Two Zamac, one aluminum, cobalt, rubber, gunmetal, and wire. Okay, so let's get the Zamac, wire, gunmetal, rubber. We can get all that stuff. Let's let's make this happen. Okay, I think I have everything we need for the, uh, the coupler. It's actually not too bad because uh, we did a, a live stream and we had a fantastic time getting materials okay so let's go ahead and build that okay so we've got our coupler now we need to get our barracks material now i think i i think i have to have a hallway but i'm going to try to not put a hallway in first i'm going to try to just to make the stuff that i need for it and see if we can't just attach it directly hey <laughs> okay we've got the stuff for the barracks let's see if we can actually build the thing though Will you attach? Oh my gosh. It will attach. Build that bad boy out. Oh, we've done a thing. We've done a thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is super cool. I'm so happy that we built that. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Um, let's see. I need some food here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and snack on some of these bad boys. Get those back up to par. Let's go ahead and take a drink of water here. What is this, our temperature? Okay. So now we need to focus on walls. So gunmetal corner wall, windowed wall. Oh, there's only two options. There's corner wall, windowed wall, side wall. So we're going to need gunmetal, nichrome, cast iron, and wire. Wow, we're going to need some serious amounts of metal here. Well, that's okay, because like I said, we went out and we did some things. Actually, I'm curious now. If I go to build craft, can we actually start building? <gasps> we can. Oh, we could actually start building the laboratory. We just don't have... We still need to throw like walls and stuff on here. But we could get the frames built of all of these and then start throwing walls on as we go. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get the biodome going too. Uh and then we can throw walls in as needed and then maybe we can get the laboratory going. So this is kind of like my thinking of how I want to accomplish things here is for building wise. Um let's see structures. So, I want to get the laboratory built, but I want to get the biodome going first. I'd like to be able to start growing some decent food. So that way we're not relying on maybe just the, the crops around us, which the crops around us are doing just fine. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but I'd like to be able to do that. Um, and then I also want to build the laboratory. And I know people are asking, how come I haven't built the deep terrain drill yet? And the reason I haven't built that is because when you build this, you get waves of enemies. You get like lots, like every alien in the area becomes upset with you and wants to destroy your face. So what I'd like to get before that is an electrodome because um i'd like to get that but that's going to require a xernium and i think we have to go off planet to get that i think we have to go asteroid mining for that so we're going to have to get the laboratory first obviously we have to get the laboratory to unlock it uh the z shield which of course we have to have that it's z shield uh we need cubic zirconium or cubic zirconia and we don't have that here as well i think we have to go off planet to get that so we're gonna we're gonna take our we're gonna we're gonna do one thing at a time we're gonna get the biodome and hopefully the barracks finish today. That would be absolutely awesome if we could do that. And then I also need, uh, I need to make glass, which I think we can just shovel dirt, but I think I have broken glass pieces if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I don't. Uh, hold on. Isn't glass just made from sand? Where's the glass at? Is it in here? Yeah, it's just made from sand, so I just need to grab a shovel to get that made. That's not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything else hopefully made up here. We'll see what uh, see what I need. Hopefully I have everything. Okay, so the last thing I really need to work on is getting the hoses made and glass. So for rubber, we need to go get some hydrogen. We're going to run over and grab some hydrogen uh, from over there. I don't think I have... 
anything in here. I don't. Okay. So let's pop over and let's go grab some hydrogen from our conveniently located hydrogen geyser. Awesome. Okay. So last thing we need is glass. Um, where, oh, where did I even put my shovel? You know, I, I don't think I have a shovel. <laughs> I don't even think I have a shovel. Um, okay. Crude shovel, crude pipe, leather straps and metal straps. Okay. So let's do that. See those, and then we need oh, we need another thing leather, okay. And then we need a metal scrap and a crude pipe. Crude pipe is metal scrap. Let's just grab some metal scrap, we should be good. Awesome, okay. So there is our shovel. Let's go ahead and let's dig some sand and get ourselves some glass. Oh, wonderful, okay. There goes our sand. So that's gonna give us 20 glass. Um, I do need to go grab lithium. Oh my gosh, I almost could use the entire shovel. <laughs> Let's grab that stack of lithium back out of there. And then we'll grab our 20 glass. And then we can throw the bio down. Oh, shoot. I need to make a coupler first. Darn it. Okay, well, I have the stuff for that. Yeah, we're going to have to build a coupler first. I forgot. Um, Let's see. I kind of want it. I think this... Mm, you know what? Let's head on this one. So I am missing gunmetal, cobalt, and aluminum. Okay, perfect. Ha <laughs> ha! One coupler. Coming on up. Now do I still have the stuff to build the biodome? No, I need one more Zamac. All right, perfect. We are good to go. Let's get this guy out here. And hopefully you will attach right there. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely perfect. And I love it so much. The biodome has been built. Okay, so let's take a peek at this guy. Now, I do need to get a... Um, we need to get a uh, an airlock in here. But I think... This is all good to go. This is all done and nice now. So, in here, we can go ahead and if I go into... Let's go into crafting here. Um, appliances. So, we've got bin, smart bin... The smart bins used to grow crops inside of the biodome growing plants. So these bins will grow much faster than normal bins. Or we have regular bins. Bins used to grow crops inside of a biodome requires some player maintenance to grow crops. Um, so, like, obviously the smart bins seem like the way to go. But a regular bin is way easier. So maybe we'll start with regular bins. Let's go grab, uh, let's go grab some iron. Magnolium. Magnolium. Okay. Let's go grab some iron and some magnolium. You know what? We'll just build the two. We'll just build two of those bins for now and kind of see how they are. Uh, and then we always add smart bins and then replace our regular bins with uh, those bins. Okay. So let's see if we go back into here. Uh, let's see. Nope. I want to go to crafting appliances. A bin. Oh, so those do automatically go on. Right there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put a regular bin here. We'll put them right next to each other. And then we'll put another bin, appliance bin, right here. I like that those just snap in there. That's pretty nice. So, uh, bin one, two, and three. Pretty sure we need to put dirt in these. So F for bin one, require soil to plant. So how do we get soil? Craft soil, human waste and sand. Oh, we haven't, we haven't built the excrement collector yet. Um, We got to build that. Because we need human waste, so <laughs> we need those two things. Let's grab, let's go. Oh, rubber. Oh, darn, I'm gonna be out of rubber again. I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough rubber for that. 6Al4V. What is 6Al4V? I need titanium. Okay, we can do this. And then I need another. I need more rubber here. Okay, so. Low sign hydrogen. Okay, let's pop back over, grab hydrogen. We'll make that rubber, and then we're going to grab our, our excrement collector. We need a poop collector. Oh, that's right. The buggy now has its own set of lights on it. 
So I forgot that was another addition. They added the uh, lights on the buggy and the GAV, the ground assault vehicle. We haven't built the ground assault vehicle yet. But that's like my favorite vehicle if I had to pick a vehicle. Now I'm curious because before, every time we got out, the lights would turn off. Oh, hello. So the lights still do turn off. That's okay though. That's all right. I thought I saw a guy coming over here. I guess not. All right, let's go make our rubber. And let's get our let's get our poo collector going. <laughs> I always go to the wrong machine. This one, rubber. Oh, I need my lo loads tonight. Okay, it's time for our poop collector. Um, let's just go ahead and put poop collector. Put it over here by the door. You don't want to walk too far to have to dispose of your waste, right? Um, extra wing collector. Your collects feces from your suit. Waiting. 29 minutes oh my gosh that's gonna take forever okay so in order to make the soil we need one human waste one sand and that's gonna give us one soil oh my gosh that's gonna take a hot minute so we're gonna be sitting on waiting on that for a little bit okay well i guess the uh next order of business is probably get an airlock on here and get the walls on that so that way everything is nice and sealed and secured. All right, we're gonna have to go out and uh, do some more exploration stuff. I need some more hydrocarbon solution and then we're probably gonna need some more rubber. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna grab the hydro hydrogen and then we're gonna head over that way and grab our hydrocarbon solution, basically dirty rainwater. And now I'm stuck into this view again. <laughs> I don't know what happens. And hello there, hydrocarbon solution. Let's go ahead and swap this out for that. Whoa, yeah, okay. Let's say extract methane. Methane detected. Wait, can we? Could we extract methane with a barrel of hydrogen? Ah, that's kind of weird. I don't know. All right, let's head back. Maybe it was that methane? I don't know. Perfect. Now the hydrocarbon solution is going to turn into plastic. Let's go and make all that we can. Oh my gosh, we can only make five. Should have brought a couple containers with me. We probably should go up and queue. Yeah, let's just go ahead and queue all of the rubber as well. Oh, my inventory is like completely full of stuff. I need to, I need to go through and get rid of stuff out of my inventory. The, the backpack slot thing would be probably pretty nice right now. Okay, so I need a computer screen. Which means I need a circuit board. So let's go ahead and make the circuit board. Take that, and then I need the computer screen, so I need some glass. So let's go and get our shovel back out. You know what? I think I pretty much... I think I stored my shovel already. I did store it. You know what? My old shovel probably broke. That's probably what happened. And there's my computer screen. Okay, so hopefully we have enough of everything else. And we're just going to have to build the exterior. I am missing... I need two white gold. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Let's build our airlock, shall we? Going to build here, stick that right on there, confirm and build. Oh, look at that. The airlock is here. It's not working because we don't obviously have, um, we need to get all these fixed and I need more plastic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, plastic, Zamic, and Derillium in order to get this guy finished. But I mean, look at that. We've got airlock, barracks, and biodome all built in one, one episode how amazing is that i know the barracks isn't like finished and neither is the airlock but they're there and we can finish them and it won't be an issue so yeah super nice stuff i'm liking the update we got a new ui it looks nice and clean and uh, yeah i'm excited hopefully you guys are enjoying i'm enjoying i'm having a good time and if you do maybe consider leaving a like on the video if you're new here maybe consider subscribing as well for some more and I want to press on with this because we got things to do. We've got so much more to explore. We're only on one planet right now. We've got to uh, we got to build a laboratory. We got to build a spaceship. Then we can take the spaceship. We can go to other planets, get more resources, come back, build more things. And I mean, there's even the 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 space station itself that we could build. That sounds so exciting. So I don't know, like I'm actually really curious about this because so we got habitat module, hallway module, hub module, window, observation, skylight, power. So that's gonna be cool. 
airlock navigation communications uh biosphere which is basically like a bio uh dome that we just built so like i wonder if this is going to become our main like our main base you know like the space station is really our main base and like the bases that we have down here we're just gonna fly to this area grab what we need to and pff, right back so we're gonna make essentially these are gonna be outposts <laughs> if you will uh yeah i'm excited to get to that point hopefully you are too but thank you again for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next episode